Hello everybody and welcome back to our continuing series of the Battle for West Nod. Aren't we the batteries? Because we are currently, go to the end of the day, we are currently the undead. Previous mission we helped uh, eradicate some orcs, we picked up a dog corpse, and we've been evicted from the home. Bitter and alone, Malin follows the back trails of the orcish band north from Parthen. He curses the mages for casting him out of the Isles of Alduin, only half trained, unprepared for conflict. He curses Drogon for lacking the resolve necessary sacrifice to protect their homes. More fiercely, he curses the orcs for their mindless savagery, pillages, and raiders who view violence as the most important, as little more than sports. Three days travel northeast, Malin stumbled upon Darkened Volk, the necromancer who saved Parthen taught him to raise the dead. The Dark Mage suggests that they travel together, and Malin ob obliges, having abandoned by his kinsmen. As the weeks pass, Darkened Volk teaches Malin more dark. In truth, I share your hatred of the orcs. The Northlands must have been my home for many years, and the orcs have been growing in infestation in recent times. They despoil the beauty in the land wherever they go, hacking and burning everything without care or concern. If you are interested, I would be happy to teach you as my apprentice, so that I can teach you to fight against them. Yes, these orcs are thre have threatened my friends in my home for too long. This time I gained the power to put them in their place. Yes, perhaps removing the threat of the orcish raids will persuade the people of Parthion to welcome you back, but for now I must train you. The orcs are powerful in the hills, strong enough that even I dare, to confront, dare not directly confront them. Then what shall we do? Striking them where they are weak. A goblin village lies in the valley just ahead. They are the bastard children of orcs, feeble creatures individually, but annoying enough in large numbers. Subduing them will provide us a supply of fresh corpses and souls to use against the orcs. It will be worthwhile to test your skills. We're going to do that. Uh, let's bring up Solus. Not sure how good. If I just wasted money, we will see. I'll see you the upkeep. I'll have to check that. Ah, uh, I did not realize there was a swamp near the village. It'll be beneficial for your training if you're to investigate it. Alright, left to move. What about Investigate that. Ooh, not that. That's it. <laughs> Occupy all goblin villages. the realms of the death and decay Ooh. what are these things these are ghouls noxious beings fashioned from living flesh and the carcasses of disease and poisons 
Those that outlive their masters gravitate towards the natural decay present in swamps and bogs. Isn't it cruel to turn men into such hideous forms? Need not pity them. Once they were evil men, murderous outlaws, no better than the orcs you hunt. I have transformed them so their physical forms matches their spirits within. Is that not fitting? No punishment is too great for their kind. I suppose so. Can I pull them out? No, I cannot. So, let's put me on that. I'm not negative two due to my new friends. <laughs> Beware of the goblin guards in the village. Now we're at neutral. <laughs> Let's start it over. So I'm going to that's Solus and Watching Corpses. it right, I'm gonna see what this uh, cage is all about Split it two and two. Still want you in the water. The monsters are going to eat us. I think I see the objective. So, objective. So, this cage does nothing.
is now. Walking corpses we can get. And I still don't know what that cage stands. If I want more shrips, I need the plague. And let's hit them. Eek, don't kill me! Uh, why do you hesitate to. Did you show the orcs? The orcs say you want to see, yeah. This cage is here for something. I don't know what. Clearly it's not that. Let me turn. Alright. This guy goes this way. Apparently. So we got plus two gold to turn. the swamp, pulls out these guys, <laughs> I have no clue what this thing does. Do it all. Walking corpses. So we're out of money. There's nothing for that. Okay, okay. Give him a 
thing. Hello, Karma Chimera, how's it going? Where's the guy pulled back to? Long ways. We cannot let that happen. Apparently, we can. Well, this game is quite distracting. There are goblins in the village, oh no. Uh, let's see, more magical attacks. Oh, here there's a key. I uh, hope you're having a good day, Ma Karma Chimera. What brings you to this game in particular? Hopefully, more allies. Now, not what I wanted. So, more whiffs and wounding attacks. Uh, let's see, you can't move forward any farther. Ah. You talking like uh, multiplayer? Power champion is. No. Geez, whole reason for existing to cap that guy. They do nothing. You have played, yes, you do. More goblin allies. Yeah, this is a new game for me. Because a lot of people played this when it came out, and I'm totally new to the experience. Mm. 
Someone dropped a key here. That key will go. So get to the play. Get the guy in the water. Do you have any good pointers that I might be able to use? Down he goes. There are some rotting corpses in this cage. Make use of them. A necromancer must always use whatever supplies he is given. Two bodies. Troops. Well, it's hard to get high level on dead characters. The big wolf is done with. Now I just capture the towns. And get a little XP along the way. Hopefully that guy doesn't die. First strike. I'd like to keep you alive. Like to do what actually happens. Maybe two different things. You're fostered. Well, at least I'll have a pretty level ghoul by the time I get back. Oops. Second Goblin Villages is all well and good, but corpses and bats will not stand up to the full orcish warriors. Have some patience, but we have only just begun your training. These carcasses will supply you with sufficient sources for practice. When you have mastered the basics, we will then assault the orcs. You will see the forces grow quickly. This is... Uh, let's see... Game. Menu. Can't 
and Haynes, this is the Descent in the Darkness. Uh, third map in, or no, second mission in. Mail and Darkened folks spend the summer and fall traveling across the north, lower north lands. They attack goblin villages and small orcish camps when they find them, although Darkenvolk is occasionally demanding and irritable. He proves to be an efficient mentor. Malin's power grows considerably under the necromancer's tutelage. The colored patchwork of fall eventually fades to wintry snowfall. Drifting over barren land, the night grows longer as the sun disappears behind a seemingly perpetual mist of pallid colors. Hounded by the elements, the two necromancers retreat into the hills to seek shelter. By a stroke of good fortune, they stumble across a mostly abandoned cave just as winter sets in. You're right, Karma Chimera. It seems many life forms in this cave, but none are very powerful. Most likely they are merely nothing more than beasts. Still, it may be we may be able to use them to continue their training. Better than nothing, which way do we do these creatures lie? East. We will kill you. Me kill you. No, me kill you. I see human. Human we smash. Simple mind up two creatures. This should be an easy task for you. Once you have slain them both, we shall turn them into skeletons. compared to the regular corpses, so we're going to dismiss you. Ah, the soulless have more HP. But it's cheaper to pull out a cool. So would you like to be named after one of these amazing characters on here, like a ghoul or undead? Talking to you, Kar Karma. What sort of critter would you like to be? That's fair. Corpse. Ugh. The ogres are dead. Good, I've already showed you how to raise a skeleton before, but perhaps it would be best if we went over once again. Other than for ghouls, flesh and blood are useless for undead creatures. First, let out the blood and innards and I dispose of them. Very well. What a mess. Leave it the ghouls to take care of it in due course. Next, strip away the flesh a little. Remaining is fine. Too much will hamper you, your skeleton's movements. And then? Bind the strings of energy to the bone. Skeletons are no more than puppets. Novices will directly control their movements with strands of dark magic, but you should have no need for such crude methods. Instead, Impart your will upon these creatures, spread the threads over the bones, then let loose the twine from your hand. 
If your will is strong enough, the skeletons will be able to move on its own. I will try. Do it again. Skeletons good, now head north. I sense another ogre there. Explore. I can turn this one into a skeleton as well. That's good. For a negative one gold to turn. Can I recruit skeletons yet? No, I cannot. And survive! Oh, good God. That's all I ask of my people is to survive. A level two orc. Explains the damage you could do. Ah, uh, well, some people like to have stuff named. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have boxed them in like that. Like to have people named after them, to a sense of belonging community. See how well their critters do if they survive. Ogre seems to be their bow. Use it to create a skeleton archer. Very well. It seems that raising skeletons is already a trivial matter for you. Indeed, it counted. Perhaps I would. We'll need more than a few skeletons to fight the Arcs. They will come in time. When you learn to control more than them, more of them at once. For now, continue exploring these caves while we may find something else to use. Ah. Uh, display. Uh, my background resolution, this monitor is 2650 by 1440. Unfortunately, I have to use background pickups. And yeah, it's a new computer. Actually, I can zoom. That didn't work. Uh, I'll have to look at that off screen. Because, like, the background capture doesn't actually capture the game. Or the game capture doesn't actually capture the game. I have to use background pickup. And I might be able to change which monitors I'm capturing. Play capture. Duplicate this. <laughs> yeah. Because my other monitor is really old. Uh, so we'll take off the display capture here. We'll add the display capture. I wanted to capture my other desktop. Oh, well, duh. I have an idea. What if I just turn down the resolution? Display settings, let's see if we can find something.
How's this? Is this any better for seeing what's on the screen? Oh, everything's a bit bigger for me. Alright. I will have to keep this in mind. So the skeleton archers, let's go forward. Nah, I'll just change it back up when this is over. Mud crawlers, how'd these things get in here? The magic of our world is unprecedented, unpredictable, and random. Even without the interference of trained mage, it sometimes calculates by, coagulates by itself, giving rise to physical anomalies, or breathing life into the inanimate sea there. It's merely a small eddy of energy, but enough to animate the swamp water. I see, even if these mud crawlers are not much of a threat, they are still bothersome. I wonder if it, I could rid, be rid of them. What is magic mud even weak to? Anyway, fire? You'll be able to figure it out on your own? I suppose you're right. Let's capture a town. Oh, my camera's blocking everything. Could I recall? Not sure how much use this ghoul is going to be, but we will see. Reward. Seems the merman used to live here. Are you affected by poison? Retreat! Doesn't work like it. We live to another day. Looks like there's something mired in the mud here. I should have a look. Well, since I have no income. Oh, it's negative income. Yeah. So let's play defense. And we'll turn the turn here. Hey, one goes down. Survive! No! I'm not my precious archer, you jerk. Probability of death, 50%. Does he level up? Level 2 orc, nice. Getting in the blocking way of that. You heal, take that. All I do is ask my troops to survive. Hmm, storm trend. I wonder if it would could be useful. Hopefully. Uh, let's see. You 
guys are wounded. Cool, you are out. Please hit him, buddy. Son of a gun. Dander if you do and dander if you don't. Yes, we got him. Fortunately, we need a block. Otherwise, that guy's gonna die quickly. Level one, level zero. And we would Good job, people. Ah, must be a ranged attack. Objectives. Reach the end of the cave. Totally missed that down there. Hit him, baby. Nice. Somehow I feel like killing these mud crawlers is less than meaningful use of my time. But I need it. I don't think there's much experience to be gained fighting a few rats. Well, they kind of almost took out my people. I like experienced people. So the swamp produces that. Good to know. I can level up the people. enemies to be found. Oh, 
offer people XP. I'll try to at least. This is the first mission I've ever run into that didn't have a timer on it. Should we exit? Ah, oh, more villagers. Please survive skeleton. I would like that very much. Pack of wolves, the same that goblins use as mounts. They were abandoned here for some reason. A tattered red flag, some orcs used to live here, but it seems they were slain in a fierce battle. Oh boy. Time to run away, we have no gold income. Still. Nope, oh, that's not anything. Survive! Dang it! So hard to keep troops alive. Mission is not going well as I thought it would. Asked me that before.
Oh good lord, this thing just keeps going. I'm gonna restart this mission. Hi. I want to keep more people alive, especially since I'm not gaining any income. Call of Duty. Yeah. Get used to it a little bit, though. See these villages down here, it should be a little bit easier. Explore with unlimited turns. No problem, we'll be here tomorrow, or not tomorrow, day back Monday. The missus doesn't like me gaming very much, so try to do it not when she's not around. Have a good day, hope everything goes better for you. Uh, bats or ghouls? Corpses. I'll give you your choice of targets. However, I'm going to hit you with See if I can't level up a bit or two. Currently plus zero gold. Lead with strong forces. Catch him here. Dude, oh no. May have to restart.
force, pull you back, this heals, scout comes south into our waiting arms. Damage. Dang it. Back to the start we go. Oops, I'm way off. Pulling up the bodies. Indeed, it appears that this is randomly generated. Sides, everyone heals. Come on, back. them. Yes. 
16. I can only do 14. And Archer. Back a turn. Now you can focus on the guy yourself. Nice, a level zero bat. Oh, six by three. South, you come north. What do you do? Possible twelve. Ah, so my colors are gone. This guy hits for eight. I don't think there's much XP, but I think there's plenty of XP. Uh, 
that captures Capture the town, you come here. For 18 XP, killing that thing gets us to 19 XP. Killing the rats, 8 XP. 1 XP. Archer, come back north. XP from swinging at him. Pack of wolves. Yes, the wolves. that back. I'm dead rats, yay. Who doesn't love a good undead plague rats? Did I leave anyone in the south? No, I did not. Down goes the big rats. Who wants the XP? I 
Push your boy, get in there. I'll set one of you back to heal. Take it back a turn. Good whiffs, good whiffs. Go back to heal. You need to come out. Put the poison on him. That town. The scorpions seem unusually large and poisonous. Oh boy. Level two. No, I don't think we're gaining any gold. And I'm going to move forward. You. Can I do eight? I have enough HP to survive, but let's try to get it down. This 
skeleton. Any objects around the map that can be picked up? Doesn't appear to be. The banner is different from the other ones. It looks familiar. The village, yes. It's free XP. Not a lot of XP, but it's free. Let's not get off the village. That might not be good. Um, 
spice the dust. And we can get the scorpion eventually. Nice. You have done well so far to master the reanimation of skeletons. Now I shall teach you to control spirits. Are you ready? I'm ready to learn about controlling spirits. Mastery over ghosts, especially the more powerful ones, is something even experienced necromancers may struggle with. While other undead are nothing more than mindless slaves, upon reanimation, spirits are the souls of the original owners. I must retain some degree of consciousness. If the spirit is stronger than you, it will break free of your hold. To master it, you must. Your own soul must be unwavering. I doubt I shall ever come, but be overcome by the soul of an orc. Perhaps that is not what I meant. Before you can begin to control other souls, you must first master your own. What do you mean? I am proud. I am strong. It is a matter of conviction. It is not that, not I, that I must convince. But yourself, hold thy tongue and listen. After a great slaughter, even after the corpses are all rotted to nothing but bones, the bridge between the land of death and life is weakened. By placing yourself closer to death, you will better understand who it is that you really are. But you must not speak. Be silent and embrace the darkness. Concentrate. What sorcery is this dark, darkened bulk? What's going on? Where is everything? Who are you? I am Melan Kashar. No, I am Melan Kashar. Tell me who you are, and this time make it believable. I am Melan Kashar, but no longer the naive, uncertain boy I once was. I am no boy, nor am I uncertain. I certainly won't be questioned by a mere reflection like you. The distorted reflection you see mirrors the reality within. An even morphing perspective warped by profusion of uncertain ambition. Nonsense. My convictions are strong and my mind is set. I have but one goal. I will gain power. I will master death. And I will use it to protect my home and slaughter these works. And I'll make my family and my people accept me back. When you are drawn in different directions at once, which one will you choose? I'll try for them all. You shall be torn apart. Protecting my home and slaying the orcs are the same thing. You mean choosing between family and gaining more power? They will come around and see reason. I will make sure of it. And you do not have the wisdom to see through the veil of lies. You have told yourself you must not seek the advice of one who spins the web of deception further. Enough of this. No pro orbs are going to help me achieve my goals. It's just like back in Alduin. My teachers never understood what I needed. I don't need to think and I don't need to philosophize about the grand nature of my life and the place in the universe. Right now, I must train my skills with necromancy. That's it. When you're sad and alone. Even all the power in the world will not help you. And the barren void of endless nights will rage and hatred will be enough to sustain you. <laughs> well, my choice is already made. Rethinking it now is pointless. I've never been one for regrets. Damn it. As if I would pay any heed to twisted doppelganger of myself. Anyway, what did Darkenvolt say about it again? After a great slaughter, even after the corpses are rotted, all rotted to nothing but bones, the bridge between the land of death and life is weakened. If I use that knowledge, I should be able to sense the soul of the past, the barrier of life and death. I did it! I... Ghost. Freedom, your sorceries cannot shock me, Melin the Dons. I failed. No, it must have been the spell... It's too tricky to master on the first attempt, no matter, no matter, it's only a single weak spirit. 
I should be able to symbol to crush it to next search my will back over it. I got you. I've done it. I've learned to summon souls of the dead. So you have. You have even managed to regain control of it when it slipped out of your grasp. Well done. Now pay heed. The necromancer's first goal is often special. Use it carefully and it will serve you well. Let it escape your control again and it will be lost forever. I see. I won't make the same mistake twice. You shall see. You have done well enough so far, but I have seen much more to teach you to come. We have work to do. Another day here. Thanks for everyone that stopped by. Karma Chimera. I'm going to swap over to Rimworld for about half an hour. 